Wright's Herbert and Catherine Jacobs house on Madison's west side and Taliesin and Spring Green have joined six other buildings by the famed architect on the UNESCO World Heritage List. More than 1,000 sites in 167 countries are recognized by the United Nations Cultural Organization. Carrie Rodemaker is the executive director of Taliesin Preservation. Welcome to Live at Fort Creek. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so, for having us. This is exciting and it's a very big deal, right? It is. It is. You know, this, it's been about 15, 20 years in the making. Um, it's a long process and we're just thrilled to, to be at the end and now we can really start moving forward with, with this new uh, inscription. So what is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? So it's a United Nations Educational, educational Scientific and Cultural Organization. And what they do is they really look at sites that are around the world and finding things that really stand out amongst them. And then they honor them. They celebrate them and there's different things, recognition um, that comes along with them, such as, uh, you know, protection, um, it, it, it increased protection of these sites, um, but also the recognition. Yeah, and preservation as well. Yeah. How many of them are in the United States? There is now 24. 24 but sites. how many in Wisconsin? Now there's two. Just two. Just just <laughs> yes. those two. So yes. and there are none in any of the states really that surround us. That's correct. None in the Dakotas. None in Illinois or Minnesota. Are there? Uh, no, not oh, in Minnesota wow. either. Now Illinois, they also have two sites. Okay. Um, Unity Temple and then uh, the Roby House. But, and uh, all of the building. I mean, there's there's many right. more than eight. Why these eight? They really stand for the, the cultural, the educational, and the scientific. And what they did was looked at all of the different sites. And of course, they're all incredible in their own unique ways, but they had to pick. And so they looked at the ones that really stand out for that kind of significance. Um, and we were just overjoyed that Taliesin was a part of them. Now, what will this mean for Taliesin? Well, it'll mean increased visitation, um, increased uh, visibility amongst uh, the international uh, community um, and also we're hoping for increased funding um, as well in that it just is going to be highlighting a lot more of what we're doing the site the importance of the site um, and we rely on gifts of support we rely on those donors um, and then also the visitation aspect as well it certainly raises your visibility it does it does it's quite yes. a and quite a list of other properties tell, and, right. and yeah tell us and is already very well known but the uh, the other house near Jacob's Glenway house. Yes. Yeah, the Jacobs house near Glenway Golf Course, some people may have never even realized that we had a house like that in right, Madison. Right, and that is such a, a gem of a house. It is privately owned. Here it is. Yes. In, the, in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they get tours of this, or don't they? No. On occasion. Okay. On occasion. Um, and I would say if anybody's interested, you know, certainly contact us um, at Talius and Preservation and we can certainly help to coordinate uh, whatever tours opportunities at the Jacobs House, but also our um, site as well. We're open seven days a week, May through October. Oh, that's great. And there's, a, there's a lot of right buildings in the Madison area. There is. There is. And it's sort of a magnet. People come here and they go on these Frank Lloyd Wright tours. Yes. And this is going to increase that, I bet. I, yeah, I hope so. Um, definitely. You know, and, and the way that we look at it is we're partners with all of our sites. I mean, everybody's owned individually and operated individually, but the more attention that I think Wisconsin can get from this, the better all of these sites and all of the state is going to be. How long have you been working to get this recognition? It's been about 15, 20 years in the process. In the, in process so yeah. you have to get nominated, then it goes in front of a panel. Yep. And it did in 2016, and it got referred back, so we had to make more adjustments. Um, and then we resubmitted uh, in November of last year, and then we watched it live on July 7th. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, it was that fun. That is exciting. Really, and just the title alone, UNESCO World Heritage. Yeah, it's exciting right. for all of us. <laughs> just in that alone. But I know. We're all walking around, and we're <laughs> pinching each other. Like, you okay. realize this, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you.